from the depths instant tutorial. Well, hello and welcome to Jimmy and Total Nerdy Channel. We're back into from the depths instant tutorials, and today we're going to talk about power priority. This is the fantastic ship we're making for Captain Scubarox, the commissioned officer in the army of Jim Desmond, supporting this channel. Very fantastic. And we are going to use this as an example on how to set up power priority. So you can, uh, we are first going to talk a little bit about the thing we have covered before that we shouldn't talk about in uh, like this video actually, but I want to cover it because otherwise everyone will be super confused. So, each engine has a power priority, and this basically means that uh, a certain engine's power will be used before or after um, the engines, the other engines will be used. So basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go into your construct, and here you can see we have a decently efficient engine. We're going into this thing and we're going to make sure that uh, the, the priority of this engine is 1. Fuel engines can be 0, 1 or negative 1. And since this is one of the efficient ones, we're going to set it to 1. If we go a little bit forwards, we have an auxiliary injector engine. This is super inefficient. This is very inefficient. So we have made sure we set the priority to zero, uh, no, I mean negative one, because zero will be neutral and negative one uh, means that this will be used after the other fuel, fuel engines. Now we have something called power usage priority and this is uh, basically the generator. Uh, if we choose this to charge the fraction, uh, like charge the battery a little bit, uh, we can set this uh, to, yeah. So it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, but it is, this is connected to uh, the battery charging function that this thing has. So for example, we may want 10% of this power to charge our batteries if need be, uh, and this can be pretty low prio, but good emergency little option. In any case, uh, there we have that. Uh, we have different engines who are much more efficient than other engines. For example, jet engines are much more efficient than any fuel engine, if you don't know that. So, of course, we're going to find the correct piece here, wherever that is. Um, here, we can do like this. We have a small jet generator. And this is, of course, set to power priority of 50. So some other engines, they have a scale from negative 50 to positive 50. And since this is one of our most efficient engines on this little ship, it's going to be max power priority. Uh, this should satisfy the, all the power needs um, if we can, because this is so darn efficient. Same with the other jet engine. However, they're kind of weak, so we can't rely on them, but we will want to use them um, as long as we can. And what I mean by weak is they're easily destroyed because they're just a thin rod. But they really add to our speed, so it's nice. Uh, then we have some stuff like um, propellers from jet engines and stuff like that. Inside of here, somewhere we should have a um, gearbox, a medium gearbox, and this one also has a power priority. And I set this uh, power priority to negative 50. And why, why did I do that? Well, I set it to minimum because I don't want this gearbox to generate power because that will inhibit the speed that this uh, propeller uh, generates. So it, on it will only generate power if it has to. Uh, and one thing you can do so you don't slow down your uh, um, propellers is to set the maximum power creation to something like, I set this to 800, so it uh, produces power um, only if we like need it. However, uh, since these are auxiliary engines, I'm going to boost this maximum power generation to max. So if we really need the power, these propellers will basically rotate super slow and not provide forward thrust. Uh, these, we have the same thing here again, here we can see, oh, well, there we have it of course, and this one will set, we will limit it to 800, so it can produce more than 800 power, and if you do that, you will make sure your steam propellers don't get stopped in its track. Here we have another little engine, and this one is a fuel engine, make sure this is the lowest priority uh, for fuel engines, which is negative one, uh, because this one is really inefficient too. But that's basically that. Uh, if you connect your uh, power generating gearboxes, uh, like steam gearboxes, 
um, to actual steam propellers, you may want to limit their power generation or at least have the power prior really low because otherwise your ship will go slowly and you probably don't want that. Right, uh, so that's the engines. You need to set up the power priority in order to be efficient, set all your efficient engines to max priority and your uh, inefficient engines to minimum priority and like your extra engines, like electric engines, for example, to minimum minimum priority. And the electric engines, uh, as you may already know, they were actually set up with this uh, value when from the get-go you can see there are negative 50 so they will be used last uh, in any case if you don't change that so let's move on to what we're actually talking about in this video which is power priority you click v and you go to the v menu you find power here you can set the power uh, priority of your engines but don't change it here change it on the engines otherwise you don't really know what you're changing and you're me you're gonna mess everything up uh, be, be careful with scrolling here too, like seriously, because you mess, you might mess things up. So, when we go down here, we have the power creators. Ignore that and go uh, uh, like not don't ignore power creators. Set it up on the engines and ignore it in here. Then you go down to power users, and here we can set up the different things in order. Uh, why we do this is that uh, when your ship get damaged, you will eventually lose power and you want to make sure that the most important things always have power. Because if you don't set it up uh, in here, uh, everything will demand power equally and you might be uh, spending power on like decoys. You can see we have sonar decoys, radar decoys, heat decoys. You're going to spend power on these decoys while you may not have enough power to keep your ship stable you want to make sure that you leave enough propulsion to keep your ship stable because because if you don't your ship may roll and you'll be dead anyways and your decoys won't matter so in here you can set their sonar decoy radar decoy or heat decoy to minimum priority so if we get a little power if, if our power gets damaged we won't be spending power to keeping these up uh, when there is no need now we have a multi-purpose laser and this is of course our lamb system so we have lamps on this ship check in our tutorial if you want to learn how to build lamps and basically the lamp systems protect us from incoming shells so dependent on your ship if you have a really really stable ship and you you know you really rely on lamps to not die you might want to set your lamps to maximum or your lasers to maximum priority because if you don't you may just uh, die uh, but if you have a really unstable ship that might you know uh, roll and sink and stuff like that if your propellers don't get any power well then you should probably prioritize your propellers this ship is a ship that uh, does need propellers to keep stable and float so for my ship i'm going to set this ship to have maximum priorities for the propellers because if the propel if all the propellers go down go down we'll just will be really sad basically and we can actually set up these propellers individually but for now we're going to set these propellers all the propellers to maximum priority here we have the planar shields and the planar shields they protect us from incoming shots so um, think a little bit in your case what's most important or your shields or your lamps most important for my part I'd say that my lamps are a little bit more important than the shields, so I'm going to put this a little bit above the shields. And then my lasers will get higher priority uh, than the shields. And the decoys, the lowest. So there we have basically set up power priority. Now you can save your ship as you've set this up. Right, one thing we can uh, set up is of course we can set up the propellers individually. Here we have this propeller. Um, and it what does it do it's a pusher and it's a pitcher it's a pitcher and we have some extra configuration and here we can see we have the value power usage priority is set to uh, 50 the maximum like we set it up earlier 
like this thing is a pitcher and a little bit of a pusher and it also has a very high uh, priority but perhaps these ones the pitchers are a little bit more important than the pushers or something like that or you can find a propeller which you know isn't very important like this thing it's a turner it it only provides jaw and if we really have low power we may actually want to set this power usage priority to uh, something lower so we can set this we can set two of these on each side to be a minimum priority so if we really need the power we won't spend power on this particular uh, turning thruster and yeah you can set it up in detail super much and you can optimize it and make it very very fine uh, it's up to you how much you want to uh, uh, bother with this thing and I'd say you don't need to do, you don't need to bother a lot with this. Just set your efficient engines uh, to produce power like in higher priority and in your inefficient engines to produce power with lower priority and make sure that your most important system does get power before all the other systems and that your least important systems uh, gets cut off from power as fast as possible if you need it. Thanks a lot to all the commissioned officers in the Army of Gymnasium for supporting the channel. And if you want to become a supporter like Captain Scuba Rocks, please check out uh, my Patreon. It really helps me a lot to make new videos for you. So see you next time. This is your host Gymnasium and uh, thanks for watching and liking the video. Blink blink. Bye bye.